<laughs> so, uh, hi everyone. Um, this is my second uh, lightning talks on. Uh, oh, okay, Did a mistake. This is my second lightning talk at uh, Akelu. The previous one was the last year, uh, and I did already on Flowitel. So I will show you um, some upgrades and new features. So here is the main page of Flowitel. So it's uh, case management, um, like it said in the title. So uh, I will show you some some steps and uh, some features. So next, uh, f first, sorry, uh, I will create a case from uh, a template. So. Um, um, you can have templates, so you can reuse a specific case every time you want, like maybe a methodology or something like this. So this is template for a first in case that I created. You have tasks, um, you have some information, subtask on some task. So I will create a case, forensic, uh, forensic case one. I create, oh shit, okay. This, so here I am in the case and I can uh, work on it. So, um, first step, I will add a new organization. So you can add some people on your task and um, refresh it. And I have the first task, extract disk. So I want to assign a people, me. Very good person. Um, so this person can now work on the on the task, and I can see why he is doing um, on the task. You can have some notes. Very important. Don't forget to do a copy, and uh, then you can check the checkbox to say uh, this subtask is done. Okay. So um, I have a lot of different tasks to do. But there is one very interesting one is extract and analyze of ethics. There's some not, not very relevant, but I have this, uh, indicator that I found during my, uh, analyze. Very strange, circle dot I don't know not really, uh, what it is. <laughs> um, but I don't know how many of you knows this module. Um, I think a lot. <laughs> but I don't know how many of you know that this module has a dedicated uh, website. Um, yeah, so I will show you this. Uh, Florentel has um, analyzer part, so I'll choose my case. Forensic case one, I choose my task, and then I can select from notes some part of the notes and I, I want to send to analyzer. And then I click on submit and I go to the miss module web page. So if you don't know this one, you can um, discover it. I type what I want to analyze the attribute. I want to do, uh, to use the DNS module. I don't know if it will run. I don't put, I don't put, um, Information in my configuration. Okay, so there is an error, no problem. I go in my history, not this one, this one. Oh, I have results, so you can query and requery as same with some other parameters. But if you want um, uh, another demo on this module website, you can come by me. But you have the external tool. You can select your external tool, submit. Okay, send to Fluintel. Yes. And I come back on Flow Intel, and now you can see the pending. Wow. A new one arrived. You have the miss module. So now you can, um, you can, um, work on the, on the data. So I want to put on my case this IP address. Took. And now I select my case, and you can edit the notes of it, of the case. You can edit the node of a, uh, the note of a specific uh, task. But for the example, I will edit a case. Note of the case took. And then you can create some MISP object. Um, okay, well, there is a problem, okay. <laughs> Live demo, uh, I think. <laughs> and when you come back on the case, I did not submit. When you come back on the case, you can see the notes. Notice I did it here, and normally you have the misp object that will be added here, but there is a problem. Uh, 
you know, the live demo problem. And uh, then you have the connectors. You can send this object to MISP directly by adding connectors. You can add uh, multiple instances, etc. You can uh, send a full case. You can send uh, just uh, some task, and uh, then publish on MISP and um, collaborate in the MISP world. So that's it for me. <laughs>